Hello, for McDowell's Career Awareness Program, this five minute video is all about actuarial science. Now, apparently this cat did not have a good experience with it, but I can attest that it is in fact a great career. After all, it's all about math. Math is the foundation for everything in actuarial science. So you've gotta like math, you've gotta be really good at basic math, and then you also have to be able to learn and use advanced math as well. Now, I didn't learn about actuarial science until I was 26 years old when I started working at Erie Insurance, where I work now as an actuarial analyst. But I wish I would have heard about it earlier, like you are in high school, so I would have had more time to start preparing for it. Now, someone who works in actuarial science is called an actuary. And to become an actuary, you have to take a number of exams, which typically takes five to 10 years to become an actuary. It's not like a doctor who goes to official medical school to become a doctor. It's more like an accountant who takes exams to get their CPA designation. Uh, you're given your designation by an actuarial society. And again, the exams are hard. It, it is really hard. There's a lot of advanced math on it, but again, if you like math and you're good at it, it's a career that's definitely worth considering. Now there's three disciplines in, a, in addition to math being the foundation, three disciplines that actuaries use all the time is finance. The whole purpose of actuarial science is to maintain financial stability for a company, usually an insurance company. And so if you think of a bank account, you wanna have sufficient money in there and you want it to be stable over time. You wanna especially avoid large drops. Actuaries need to understand in detail the finances of a company so that we can help the company make great decisions today to maintain that financial stability. A second discipline is probability and statistics. Similar to how Amazon uses past sales data to have the right product at the right place at the right quantities to get them really fast to you, or whoever's buying it, actuaries use past data to try to make predictions about the future of finances for a company. And we assign probabilities to all, all of that. We have to know, you know, how likely is this to happen in the future? And we have all sorts of different scenarios of what could happen so that we can best prepare for the future. And to do all that, we have to use computer science. We have lots of data to manage. We have to be able to use it and have good data and we need powerful software to run models. Similar to a hurricane forecast, where there's tons of different scenarios that could happen and you have different probabilities for each, that's what actuaries do, but for the finances of a company. And we have to be able to use computers really well to be able to do it in a timely fashion and in, a, in an accurate way. So there's more details I wanna share on the next couple slides. I'm not gonna speak to all of it, but just pause the video to read it if you're interested. We've got uh, topics and skills used by actuaries. I've got what a typical week might be like here. More details on how to become an actuary, talking more about the exams. I've got the salary potential here. I've got my personal pros and cons and, and then how to prepare now, what you could be doing right now to be preparing for your, yourself for an actuarial science career. Now, after this video, if you are interested in this career at all, reach out to me. Uh, my name is Tim Cray. I work at Your Insurance. My email is right there. I love talking to students about this career. Reach out. I would love to answer any questions or help give you some more info. If you're really, really interested already and you know that you'd like to job shadow at Erie Insurance, it might be right now, it might be uh, virtual. Go ahead and email Joe Icorn. His email is right there and he'll get you set up with that. I also put a few more, a few websites here that you can take a look at to find out more as well. Lastly, just in general, career advice for you is to uh, find what you love and love what you find. Right now, you're trying to find what you love and what you're good at, and that's awesome. Keep doing that. You have, you have lots of time. Figure that out. Later on, you're going to be in a career. It's important that you love what you found and do your best to be really good at it. Thanks for watching.